What is going on guys, this is Koa Vane here, and welcome to Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree. The expansion is finally here, and I know we are all excited to finally jump into the lands beyond yet again with Elden Ring. And after seeing all the stuff they showed, I can't wait to jump into this game. I literally went back and played this game multiple times, platinum it. I helped a few friends get caught up so they could actually do the DLC. Actually, it was just helping my friend just yesterday, trying to get ready so he could actually do the expansion. And I also gotta say a big shout out to my girlfriend Allie, which her YouTube and Twitch will be down in the description for getting me this expansion for my birthday. I mean, she is the most wonderful uh, lover out there, and I can't thank her enough. And, uh, yeah, and I also can't thank you guys enough for all the love you guys show on all my my series. Um, honestly, you guys are freaking awesome. And, uh, yeah, with that being said, I think we all waited long enough. And it is finally time to jump into Elden Ring, the Shadow of the Archery. Load my game up. I'm level 167, so, and I'm already at Mogwin Dynasty Mausoleum, so we should be good. Oh, Ring of Mikula. Thank you. Ah, were you guided here by kindly Mikula? I am Leda. And like you. I was guided by faith along his honorable path. Touch the withered arm, and you too will be transported to the realm of shadow where Mikula the Kind now dwells. My compatriots are there already. Like us, they have heard kindly Mikula's call. If you can find them, they are certain to lend you aid. All right. Touch withered arm. It is time. I know we've been all waiting for this. I'm so goddamn hyped. And look at that. <laughs> Gravesite plane. Jeez. Got the castle over there. So much to explore. And everything you see, you can interact with. <sighs> Jeez. This is freaking amazing. So beautiful too. Got our first grace. I almost did forget to uh, better equip myself. Want to be at full power when going into the DLC. And I see we have our first challenger right up on that little. Perch up there. See what we can deal with him. Okay. Oh, okay. Got some, uh, Hmm. 
a mask affixed with a crown of tangled horns worn by those who would invoke divinity. Divine invocation heightens the dexterity of the wearer, but causes the blessing of the earth tree to become nauseating. Uh, reducing the restorative effect of drinking from a flask of sacred tears, Focus is also troubled by wearing this mask. Kind of curious what it looks like. Eesh. Wow. No, thank you. I'm good. Hmm. <laughs> interesting, interesting. You said this place looks fucking amazing, though. Nothing short but magnificent. Gravesite plain. Okay. So we have an area over here. An area down here. Huh. Interesting. We're going to probably start right here. And probably work our way down here. And then search over here. I'm going to check everything, so be prepared for that in this uh, playthrough. They're going to burn to cinders, burned away, put to the torch by Mesmer and his lots. What did we do to deserve such a fate? We merely lived our lives. We lived in peace. Oh, you know people, they never want peace. I always want to start shit. So many of you guys. Hefty cracked pot. Cookbook. I don't know what that's for. Hmm. Let's check over here. There's just so much to explore. <laughs> uh, there's one thing I like about Elden Ring. Everywhere, er, anything you can see in the distance, you can go to. Like up there. Eventually. In due time. I think I'll be facing that fire giant anytime soon. Oh. Back off. Fucking ghost dog. Don't think so. I hate the dogs in this game. 
Oh, I didn't want to drink that. There we go. Uh... I think I'm not getting really much from them, but uh, let's see here. Hmm. Just gonna let them chill. I'm not gonna bother them too much. I killed a few of them. That's enough for me. Except if they really won't attack me, I really just won't mess with them. Shadow Realm Rune 2. Hmm. I'll probably take that later. Out of here. Uh, really? I we're gonna just throw like rocks at me. <laughs> Finger calling Rem Remini? Not bad. Parkour. Hmm. Something over there. Can't tell if that those things are moving or what. They're just statues. Looks like a place right there. Wait, those are actually birds. Uh, hmm. Interesting. Like I said, this shit's just gonna be interesting, uh, nevertheless. <laughs> I'm gonna have fun in playing this DLC. Right I think there would be something up there. Oh, well, there's one thing right there I could probably grab. I'll grab that in a second. I guess I'm just astonished with the scenery, man. <laughs> Blade of Mercy. Let's see what that is. Talisman. Blade of Mercy, where are you? There you go. Raise the attack power after each critical hit. Hmm. A thin blood stained dagger. No longer fit for use. Raises the attack power after each critical hit. Hornset employed this to honorably end the suffering of a compatriot. After claiming numerous lives, the dagger is now broken. But has acquired a spectral aura. Hmm. It's not gonna really rock with my build right now, but uh, I mean, everything has its uses. Uh, just gonna run and jump. Yep. step on it. <laughs> Whatever. Say, um... Try to be cocky and try to climb up here, but I doubt if I could get up here. Maybe with Torrin, maybe. Come on, buddy. Finessing. You can do anything. Oop. Don't want to slide down now. 
Ooh, that's sketchy. But, yeah. So this place is going to be wild. Got a thing over there. Might go check that out first. Then work my way back down. Go around. See what's down there. Yep, that will do. Second, so I'll work my way back up here. I'm gonna go down below. There's a lot of these soldiers everywhere. Trying to try to throw rocks at me still. I mean, I give them props. I mean, for what they're trying to do, but. I don't know if it's actually worth it though. Black glass shard. Arrows. I mean look at this shit. Give me go down there eventually at one point. Some point. scenery in this damn world. <laughs> it is crazy. Got a nice little uh, church here. Hmm. What the hell is that? Looks like a goddamn hellhound. Come on, boy. Go. Guy with a big hammer. Coming, buddy? Yes, you are. Oh, you have some Radagon shit. Gotcha. It's gonna break eventually. Nope. Black steel, great hammer. Thank you. What was that though? Right here. Ah, uh, huh. Skills and strengths. Okay, faith and dex. Weapon of the Black Knight, Servants of Mesmer the Impaler. Great hammer of black steel with a decorative embellishments in gold. Bless with the Urtree incantation. Further holy imbuement will amplify the effect and greatly increase the armament's power. Guard counters. Cause a burst of power. Skill indoor. Hmm. Not bad. America statue. It's a 
Kuda Tree Plessing. Um, fragments can be found across the realm of shadow. Consume these at sites of grace to bolster your subcuda tree blessing. Uh, subcuda tree uh, blessing uh, bolsters the recipient's abilities to deal and negate damage, but it has no influence outside the realm of shadow. Huh. Pretty cool. So we got something to boost us even further. Hmm. That's interesting. So we got things that could pretty much make us even stronger than beyond and beyond our own power. Which I do like that. A cave over here. We got something. Come on, buddy. You want a piece of this? I, I mean, I'll throw hands. Okay. I commend you on your uh, prowess, but I see we got two more enemies here. Hmm. Oh. America. Hmm. What's that? Completely restores HP and heals all elements. Hmm. Huh. I wonder if it's a one-time use or... Must be a one time use though. I don't know. Hmm. Kinda wanna read it real quick. Change view. A special physic blessed by America, the Queen of the Earth Tree. Completely restores HP and heals all elements. America once created several of these physics for Mesmer's sake, but never again. Why? The bastard betrayed us. Well, betrayed them. So yeah. Oh, we got another puppy. Come on. I know you want to throw hands. Yep, oh, I threw hands. Behind anything behind the waterfall? Nope. Somebody with a horn. Not hear a damn thing I just did. <laughs> mm-hmm. Alright. <laughs> um. Well. Let's just say they're having a bad day. They just don't want to do anything. It's just... It's funny. Fire cool. Hmm. Interesting. I suppose I might have found a, a, a grace down there, I know. Alright, time to go back up. See what the what's up here. So we 
exploring mostly everything around here. I'm gonna check out these little pillars over here. So you never know when they're gonna hide something. Just an NPC and what the hell's going on here? What the fuck? Oh! The hell? That's interesting. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Interesting. Expecting this dude. Whew. You have no more, dude. Beast claws. My heart was racing. <laughs> that guy was wild. I mean, the first guy we faced was wild. But, I mean, one, I mean, the most you had to worry about in Elder Ring was, at least, the new thing was delayed attacks. When it came to bosses, enemies, they always, everybody had delayed attacks. So they would always, like, waste so damn long to attack you. In this DLC... They go full hard on your ass. There is no delay or anything. You literally gotta keep your ass prepped every second. And I will look at those gloves in a second. Cause I actually might want to use them. <laughs> so I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie. Let's see what's up here. <sighs> Guy kind of scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I, I was like it's, like, it's just a random NPC just wandering through the damn woods, but. <laughs> Jesus. Um, I may actually want to try those, because, um, let me see here. Um, I'll get rid of the Millennial Sword. So make sure nobody doesn't fucking jump me in this place. Um, let's check those out because those are the new type of weapons, hand-to-hand, uh, -hand pretty much. Kind of newish. Um, still looking for the uh, martial arts one. Um, it's not there. Oh, here they are. Beast claw. D in strength and D in dex. Pretty high, so. Blood loss build up 45. That's pretty nice. The P cost not bad. Just need a little upgrading and it'll be not too shabby. Huh. Um. Whippin is the form of carnivorous beast's vicious claws. Used to perform bestial slashing attacks uncanny to humankind. An intimidation, uh, imitation of the esoteric technique of the horned warriors. Those who carried this weapon wield it as though they had been possessed by a savage beast. Skill, savage claws. Hmm. What was that? The fuck? 
Was that me or what the fuck was that? Hold up. I honestly don't know what the hell that was. I'm kind of scared to shoot at me. I thought it was like my character, like doing some weird screaming, but. Okay, um. Note this up, don't just come on up to any P. Is that me or. scaring the shit out of me? Um, not gonna lie, I'm kind of freaked out right now. <laughs> Cause I don't know what the f what the hell is actually going on. Here's the grace here. Yeah, I'm gonna rest up. Cause this shit's getting wild. Scourge tree, a uh, blessing. Um, let's consume fragments to bolster your. Um, Surgery Blessing. Um, bolsters the recipient's abilities to deal damage. Uh, to deal and negate damage. Okay. Yes. I do probably want to go back to... Um, and uh, upgrade this new weapon. Because I'm going to be using it. Um, between this and something else, I'll be using probably a hefty sum of this weapon. Now. Strengthen these. I only have a smithing stone. <laughs> Um, if I remember right. So I'm gonna put these claws to use. Um, which one did I need? Because I probably need anything above that. Because I could buy all the smithic stones, because, I mean... I have money to spare. I mean, I got 85,000. And I'm out to spend it. It's better than losing it. Um, let's see, what did I need? So I'm going to probably buy all the ones above it. Uh, smithing Stone 2. So I need a bunch of those, okay. Smithing Stone 2. So actually, like I said, I want to put these weapons to good use and see if, uh, test them out. I mean, they're new. Smithing stone. I'll just buy a few of them. I'll buy a few of these, too. A few of these, too. <coughs> so I'm going to get them all upgraded. new thing I got. Uh, let's see here. There's 10,000 in, man. Strengthen these bad boys. Like I said, I'm gonna max these bad boys out. Um, I ran out of damn things. <laughs> Yeah. Um. Ashes of War. 
more into arcane. Weapons to try out. Let's head on back. Let's make it daytime, because I don't really want to experience it at nighttime. It's a true beauty out of this. It could be a nighttime or daytime, but. I was curious how that's the heavy attack. <clears throat> Not bad. Statues, but I doubt it. They look too lively and too kind of out of place. Hmm. Yep, I figured as much. You were faking it, you little bastards. <laughs> I figured you guys would be playing. the area with the uh, worms. <laughs> hmm. Western Nameless Mausoleum. this guy jumping <laughs> I'll give you that you get me on that one that wasn't a good trade This fucking sword does so much damage. You got no more juice left, buddy. while trading, but...
Definitely was a really a tanky dude. <sighs> Great Sword of Solitude. Helm of Solitude. Armor of Solitude. Gauntlets of Solitude. And Greaves of Solitude. Like I said, a very, very tanky dude. But that was something else. <laughs> Can't believe, like I said, we um, only faced a few enemies yet, and that was like our, literally our first boss that we fought. What the hell? Oh, we got a giant damn bird. Hm. Those claws do work, though. Yes, sir. <laughs> like I said, it's the start of something beautiful and something new. And honestly, can't wait to jump in this DLC further. I would go face that um, creature, but um, right now he's going to be a pain in the ass. If uh, the flame giant has taught me any anything, it's never good to go uh, messing with the. Uh, oh, got a bird. Got a bird. <laughs> um, yeah. It's never good to go fucking with something that big. But she just looks like he's tanky as hell, if I'm being honest. Pillars over here look interesting. Huh. Got grace. Oh yeah, I was gonna go check out the uh, thing over here too. I was gonna do that while we're at it. Can't really. I don't think I could level up at all. I, I, it requires way too much levels right now. Plus my stats are pretty damn high because of that um, that new blessing thing, which isn't too uh, bad. Yeah, we're gonna go check out the um, little thing that was over here. This was the area I was gonna go to, but I kind of went all the way over there and come back to this area. Kind of curious what this is. Revered Spirit Ash Blessing. Revered Spirit Ash um, can be found across the realm sh of shadow. Consume this ash at sites of grace to bolster your Revered Spirit Ash Blessing. Uh, Revered Spirit Ash Blessing bolsters both Summon Spirits and Spectral Steeds abilities to deal and negate damage. Okay, so here's our summons for the most part. Gotcha. This helps um, make our summons just a little tad tankier than they would normally be. So, that ain't too bad. Uh, huh. Let's check over here. Got some things that we could actually come down on. Okay. Not bad. What the fuck? You guys alright over here? I mean... Oh, shit. Somebody's trying to attack my ass. Got a cave. Alright. That's an option. God, these motherfuckers.
backhand bleed. Oh, got a big boy coming close. Uh, are we safe here? Safe ish, I guess. Jeez, that guy's close. Um, Alright, let's check this out real quick. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Where are you? Um, well, that's right here. Back in blade. Um, curved blade wielded with a backhand grip. A type of weapon wielded by a horn set of ge for generations. This the style of combat associated with this weapon is marked by spinning slashes and gouging thrust attacks. Skill blind spot. That's the one I remember they showed in the trailer. Okay, cool. Not bad. Alright, let's go. Let's head to the door over here. Got a long bridge. We got so many paths we could go. <laughs> I freaking love it. So much to explore. And we got one of those markers over here. Carved words, Colson's, uh, I abandoned here the first of the flesh of my body. So three fragments. Ah, Lady Leda spoke of you. You're that tarnished. Guided here by kindly Mikola, weren't we all? I am Freya. I once fought alongside General Radan. In hmm. battle, you can be sure I'll hold my own. Interesting. Empyrean Blood Pungent. What's your story? Fie. Another. Treading the heels of Mikela. Then, as that woman would surely say, we are in our purposes well aligned. But understand, when your kind are not forgiven, the Earth Tree is my people's enemy. By Marika long betrayed, set aflame. I believe Mikela's apologies when he says our delivery will come, but never will I see your kind as worthy. All right, cool. Nice to meet you too. I gotta do this. Yeah, I already know about that. Got that going for me. I'm empowered. Nice. Doing pretty good. But I'm going to end it there for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, I always appreciate if you leave a like and subscribe for more. And uh, like I said, guys, this is going to be a hell of a journey. And I look forward to it. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.